ladies and gentlemen, my name is Industrial Faith. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Factorio Forex, your 15-minute Factorio fix. This is Season 2, Episode 15, and I am looking forward to building some power armor. And, ooh, ooh, power armor 2, it's building, it's building, and done. All right, now it's time to start putting stuff in my power armor, if I've noticed. There we go. Fusion cells, and I have, uh, now I have, uh, what do you call it? Oh, personal robo ports, fusion cells. I'm ready to go. I can start doing anything I need to. Wow, I move the headphones and I get this big weird spike. Hmm. Depressing. Uh, what else am I building here? There we go. Exoskeletons for fast moving. Body moving. And I have some coffee, so if, excuse me, i uh, have a sip. So, uh, what are we doing here? Uh, let's see. I believe I'm going to go out and bust some bases if I'm putting stuff away. That's usually what that means. Or I'm going to check my signs. Let's find out here. What are we doing? Uh, let's see. I have eight lasers. Oof. I need to build... There we go. I'm building more lasers. I'm getting ready to go out and bust some bases. So going to put all the stuff in there I don't really need <laughs> and I won't remember about that box for several hours in fact I'll go looking for it and be like what did I do with it so uh, so I'm also going to be looking at uh, that there we go all right so I'm sitting on 11 laser turrets um, and I'm not really ringing the base with them so there's no need to have a manufacturing process to build them Next playthrough, I, it's funny, I'm, I'm doing the playthrough and I've already, it's like every playthrough you see something you'd like to do different. And you like, and you resolve to do it differently next time. We'll see. I mean, I tried for a more expansive bus and um, admittedly the, the two iron, two copper, and one steel seems to work pretty well. But of course I've also figured out that I need, um, um, what do you call it, other stuff. <laughs> Now I'm really like now the robots are so slow you have no idea how slow they are right now. Um, it is ridiculous how slow they are. Um, right now they're so slow that they take damage. Before they they pull aggro, dropping the turrets, and they take damage. So it's kind of kind of a pain in the butt, really. But that's how it goes. So. Night vision. <laughs> to me, that's the best part of power armor, right there, is the night vision. So, although the robot's pretty cool. So, yep, going, gonna do some busting of bases. And again, they're very slow. There's that rock there. I'm just like, ugh, get out of the way, rock. Terrible thing. And. <laughs> the robots are sl so slow that I resorted to doing it by hand. I was like, this is ridiculous. Um, I think here's where I start working on speed. So, yeah. Uh, strangely enough, apparently logistics robot speed is the same as construction robot speed. I mean, uh, even at forex speed, you can see they're just kind of taking their time, getting their doo-loo. So... But I'm just going to go ahead and advance, and as long as I uh, pull enough turrets off, there we go. More robot speed. Need more speed. Now what I was saying is, as long as you leave a couple, as long as you have eight turrets, which is what I have for the pattern, then everything works fine. You don't have to worry about anything else. You're not going to get the weird error that says you don't have enough. Um, I mean, it's not a weird error. It's an error of saving because I'm a little nervous. I'm like, ah, it crashed last time. So, here's a little safety. Now, again, I'm not putting up victory poles or victory monuments or any of that junk because it's, uh, 
because uh, I want the bases to come back. I'll need them for uh, for science. <laughs> science. And the nice thing is the robots can repair. I absolutely adore turret creep in this way. Then I'll get it again. Robot speed. Do I? Oh, I got robot count. I don't even know if that does really. I don't know if that applies also to like defender capsules and stuff like that. I have no idea. As you can see from the mini map, I am right. This is like the center of uh, the biter bases. So I'm gonna have to be real careful moving in here. There's, the worms are, those are red worms. There's uh, tan worms, red worms, and blue worms. And so far as I'm aware, the, at least they look red to me. They could be tan. I'll admit I'm not a biter. Biter zoologist? Entomologist? I don't know. <laughs> but we'll go pick up the cotton candy and get a little too close to the base. So this is just part of the turret creep, is just, uh, oops, a little too close there. Um, <laughs> I'm running out of turrets. This is why I like to venture out with 20 or, I should say about 30 to 50 turrets, so that way you can lay down swaths of them if you have to. Because, you know, overkill is not a sin. I think it's pretty fantastic. And here I'm using the uh, er the deconstruct blueprint, which is pretty entertaining. Um, and we're just going to slowly march. And I kind of want to come in from the side here, um, just because it's a better angle. For some reason, uh, coming in at a, at a kitty corner, just I don't know, it just doesn't work. So. Here you go. Robot turret creep. The best way to creep. So. But I'm not a creep. I'm not a rebel. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Ooh, look at that crowd. There is a group to the south that is just quite hostile. They do not seem to like it. Or me, I should say. They're not at all pleased with my presence. candy. Now, I'm not sure if it's this creep, but at some point, I actually accidentally uh, build it too far. And the turrets uh, don't have any energy, which is kind of entertaining. And by entertaining, I mean frightening. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Woof. Let them do a little repair. We'll gather up the cotton candy while we destroy the base. Deserts are really good for these bases because they, uh, they're, the trees don't get in the way. And I despise hunting a base through trees. Although later on I do discover that uh, when you're shooting trees, your firearm has an amazingly long range. Which surprised the heck out of me especially for tree killing. So, and because it's night, I'm always a little worried that I'm going to run out of power. Be -doop. Get a little, a little more turret power. And there we go. There's bases busted. And now I've got a bigger base. Do I go after that other one? I have to go after that other one. It's too big to leave there. Uh, my whole point is, uh, is I don't want to be attacked. Yeah, there we go, bird. All right, so now we're here. Creeping up on the base. Uh, did I forget anything? I don't know, that's such a mishmash.
Now, another way that I was watching a gentleman by the name of Bentham on the YouTube channel Mangled Pork Gaming. And he, I don't get the joke personally, I guess it's an English thing. Uh, who knows, maybe it's some really obscure Monty Python reference. I haven't clue. But he, I watched him doing turret creep with regular gun turrets and a tank. And what he would do is he had a gap between two rows of gun turrets. And he would drive his tank to a base, start firing at the buildings, and when he got enough attention from the um, inhabitants, he would then drive away and sit between the uh, between the rows of turrets, and it would basically get rid of uh, everything that's attacking him. Very interesting strategy. So. And if you, if you are using the deconstruct to grab stuff, you have to be careful, because sometimes you can get a bunch of trees and junk when you didn't want trees and junk. Um, like that. I think I just got a tree. <laughs> I didn't want a tree, but I got one. Sound like Bill Clinton. Hillary, I didn't want a tree, but I got one. Yeah, I know it doesn't sound like Clinton. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, right? Was it Richard Little? Not Richard Little. Uh, yeah, I think it was Richard Little that did all the, the impressions. I think. Hmm. I can't remember. So I think I'm looking back here because I need to... Again, blue is... Blue's decent. Green's okay. Uh, looking at the electric engines. What am I doing with electric engines? Oh! I'm building uh, robot frames. That's right. So I've got some more, um, what do you call them, laser turrets. So those are good to go. What else do we have here? More shooting speed. Um, some shields, because shields are good. It's not the Enterprise, but it'll work. At some point... Hmm some point I make a blueprint for measuring uh, distance as a, if I understand distance correctly because the lasers have a, a turret distance of 25 so in order to, <laughs> to see the guy run by little biter just took off I'm out yo um what was it do, 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 do. oh yeah because uh, it's uh, you can't tell the turret, uh, the turret range in this game. There's no. It's not like when you place one. There's a range that lets you know what's going on. You just kind of have to guess. So my assumption is the laser turrets, uh, regular gun turrets, have a range of 17. Laser turrets have a range of 25. My assumption is that it's 25 spaces, like pieces of track. That's my assumption. Don't know if that's correct. Yeah, here's me shooting trees. Take that tree! Traitor tree. And again, this is part of why I hate going through a forest, because of all the trees. And so I actually have to cut a swath through them. I do know people like to use poison capsules, which are little rope, which are poison grenades, essentially. Um, again, not a fan of grenades, if you recall why in the last series. <laughs> um, and again, combat isn't a big part of this game. Combat is an ancillary part of the game. It's there because uh, any decent game will have opposition. If you don't have any opposition, it's pretty boring. So. So we're going to keep advancing down this avenue. The salient. It's the biter salient. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for the latest episode of Factorio 4X, your 15-minute Factorio fix. My name has been Industrial Faith, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good night, and bye bye